so guys we will change the CSS properties of h2 tag so we write h2 left h2 and then firstly guys we will change the background I'll change the background color to red and uh, foreground color to white so if I log it in browser now you will see the result it's background color is red and uh, foreground color is white but, uh, guys I'm on the top, uh, top margin so I'll go to the body part and uh, I'll enter margin top to 10 pixels if I refresh now you can see 10 pixels of margin has been added so and guys I will give some padding to h2 tag so I'll give it 4 pixels of padding so now you can see extra space has been added so guys now I'll make an unordered, unordered list now it will clear that to you that why we were using unordered list or uh, means we were setting of unordered lists inside had attack we are, because we are creating another unordered list and uh, we have to change its CSS also Three href equal to enter hash and I will enter like services cars. Firstly, I'll copy it cars three, four, five, six cars bikes trucks. bus and um, music system it depends upon the requirement but it means what you want to add I meant to just a dummy text so and the last one is um, enter spare parts spare parts I close it so uh, guys if I refresh I can see now firstly guys you know that firstly we will change its list style, style type to none so we'll enter body left because this unordered list is inside body left div tag so body left I will enter ul then enter list style type to none if I refresh now you can see it's moved so in the same way I will enter body left U L L I and uh, font size I'll set it to 14 pixels it's a little bit small so I'll enter 16 pixels it's good. and uh, I will encourage uh, firstly I will give it a border then it will be clear to you one pixel solid and uh, firstly now I will increase its height height to I will make it to 27 pixels it's 27 okay I will make 28 and then in the same way we will adjust its my height so I will enter 28 pixels I can see it's right in the center now this is inside anchor these are in anchor elements so we will adjust means we will change the CSS of anchor tag which is inside list item so we will enter text tag correction to none refresh now is removed and I will do text to sorry foreground color to Red, I will enter FF 0, 0, 0, 0. It's in red color. I will change it to black. Now, 
it's looking cool. So, and uh, body left. I'm, I'm adding in the hover effect. So, a hover. When I hover the anchor tag, and its color will be FF0000 means red color. If I refresh, if I hover over it, now you can see. Guys, I want to add some extra space on the left side of LI tag. So, I will enter padding left to 10 pixels. Now you will see. Okay, I will enter 5 pixels. Now you will see 5 pixels of extra space has been added on the left side. So, this part's our uh, side now. I'll make our uh, discontent means uh, like uh, whatever you want to give some information about your company, so or about your office. So this was body left. This was end of body left. So now after that we enter body right. And of body right. Okay, so to body right, border one pixel solid. Oh. And I have to specify its width also. I will enter 600 pixels and uh, it's a flow to left. Guys, you know. Uh, that we are using flo fo floating property for both of these. Uh, I have set body left to 250 pixels and float left. This has covered the 250 pixels of left side. Uh, I'll enter the body right to float to left. Means this is left. Now it will come to this side. And it is. it has covered the 600 pixels of space. I will enter a margin left to 15 pixels. Now, if a margin has been added, now you can see I can increase its width also. So, I'll turn 670 pixels. Mm, 660, it's nice. Okay, so I will enter some content here. Body right, I will again use H2 tag and I will enter welcome to my website. refresh now you can see in the same way guys we can copy whatever the uh, we have set the properties of s2 tag inside body left in the same way we will set it to body right so to body right s2 I will I'll paste it if I refresh now you can see oh, it's ready now we will add some dummy text here so I will enter P tag for paragraph, so I will enter some dummy text. Uh, it's in my browser. You can enter any text. I have already copied it, so I'll copy it. I'll paste it here. If I refresh, and I can see, I will paste it two more times. Now you can see. So guys, this is inside p tag so we have to set the this property of p tag which is inside body right body right p so i'm firstly give it padding of um, 8 pixels i can see padding of 8 pixels have been added and i will adjust this font size i'll set to 14 pixels it's a little bit small so i'll add 15 pixels i'll increase its line height now you will see extra space will be added. Oh, now you can see I will set it to 23 pixels. Now it's looking cool. I will copy this p tag, content of p tag again, and I paste it. Now you can see this is our left menu, left slide, uh, side slide bar, whatever you want to see. And this is welcome to my website, website and whatever content you want to write here. Now guys, our footer is left. So I write body part is now finished. So I will write divide equal to footer and and